Yeah, just continue. All okay, right. So, so you either hit. Uh, do you want to get your last ricochet, or do you want to save it? Uh, no, save it. All right. Okay. So it just flies and hits it to the creature, and it falls down to the ground next to it. So that uh, eight half down to four. Four. Got. It. Ooh, I think it might. It might kill it. Let's see. Thanks, I did a great job. Yep, you killed it. So, bam, you see the, the magical chakra as it flies into the air and it slams into the other side of the lion and screams in pain and fades out from all the wounds it's taken from the arrows. Uh, and it just dissipates, disappears um, as it vanishes uh, from, all the, from all the magical damage you guys have done to it. And it's dead. There you go. Greed dead. Huh? Well, it's already dead. Yeah, it's already so dead. It's dead again. It's dead again. It's super dead. <laughs> and uh, that's, well, technically, technically, yeah, that's the end of the round. I think you guys are good. As, Quiet. As you, as you guys know, uh, Mordo still has control of the of the undead creature, the other one, the bigger one, and he told to move out, uh, move past the wall as it waits for another command. I get more than one command. Well, no, 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 no. It's just you're controlling one undead creature, so you just tell it. You have it waits for you until you tell it what to do. Right, and I've it's told it order. to do what. You told it uh, as a gaze attack. So Miles, as your character, told it just to move out of the way, and so it moved back behind the wall. And just waiting for your command, but it can't see you. And you, well, that, yeah, it can't see you if it gets past. I mean, it's past the wall, and you can't see it right now. Can you hear me through rock? <laughs> Maybe you're not sure, but you definitely know that it doesn't yeah, understand. Sure. It doesn't understand common or any type of language like words. You have to kind of kind of tell it through a handle animal where to direct it because it's an animal. <laughs> so it does. It doesn't know. It doesn't know any languages. Yeah, genius move. By the way, that was great. I mean, it works because fucker's got a gaze mm -hmm. attack. So, <clears throat> so we wait for it and the spell to wear off, or for him to dismiss the spell, it's and a, then it's one stab per day. it. I mean, it's one day per level. See, so are you shitting days. me? Yeah, it's yeah. Eight days. He controls it for eight days. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty powerful, and he has high charisma. So if it does something dangerous. He kind of can do a charisma check to try to convince it otherwise. He's gonna fucking wait there in the wall for fucking eight days. Hell no. So right now, it moved past this wall. It's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking funny. That's so I guess, kind of free action, can I, I guess it doesn't say how to, how to command it. Uh, usually if it's intelligent undead, uh, you would say like, you would say like, hey, go over there or come here or do this or do that, like normal common, right? Or whatever language you know. But since it's intelligent of an animal, you have to do more hand of animal to command it. Like go, guard, stop. It's kind of like a dog, right? Yeah. Kinda like that type of animal. Uh, if it was unintelligent, it would just still do the same thing. It's mindless. You would still tell it to guard, move, and stuff. Like okay. But it has to see you. You have to see it. Right now, you push. You tell it to move out of the way, or like to, to go to, to go back. So it says move back and just disappear behind the wall. So you don't know where it is. I mean, you assume it's behind the wall, but you know that's it. You can't see it. There's got to be a way to be loud enough. The spell doesn't give you a telepathic link to the thing, right? No, no, it's not telepathic. Yeah, it has to, to hear you. It has I'd have to, to hear shout you. through rock. Yeah. Jesus, Louise. Are you gonna stay as a tiger? That's hilarious. Uh, Miles, Where, uh, you um, guys are out of combat. So if you guys want to do healing or anything else, since you guys got hurt. Uh, yeah, I'll stay as a tiger for right now. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna stay there. <laughs> That's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Hmm. That's 
actually a pretty good spell for a bard. Yeah, I know, it's so good! Yeah, because he has a high charisma, so it works so well. Yeah, yeah. But the inadvertently dumb thing that we just realized, like, after the fight, like, oh, shit, wait, it's just gonna stand there. Yeah, that's true. So we can get to I mean, it. that's a thing. It, I mean, it's it is never... under command, but it could be stupid, it's just follow what you say. Yeah. I mean, somewhat, not that stupid, but it's gonna follow what you say. It's amazing! <laughs> yeah, it's almost like the PM Warcraft. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> correct. My God. Oh, that doesn't have that cool voice. I like should have got a message. Should have got the spell message. I can send that. <laughs> well, you have to cast on it. You have to cast message on the creature for it to work. It's like a message between you and the person. And then uh, you can whisper it's not like D and D where you can just do it to anybody in the world. No, no, no. Yeah, it's not that powerful. That'd be a really powerful zero level spell if that was. <sighs> yeah, but there are, there are spells like that, but it's higher level, like sending and stuff like that. It's you not my turn, is it? Away. Well, it's not your turn. You're out okay, of combat. Yeah, you guys still we're, we're out of combat. combat. Yeah. We're, we're just trying to figure out what to do with the uh, lion. Yeah, you're kind of like an explorer mode. Actually, I should oh, turn really? that on so when you guys travel, you guys see where you travel. Right, and we need some explorer that. music. Hmm. Oh, I do have explorer mode on. Okay, so you should see all the all the fog of war that you guys already cleared. All right, cool, cool. <clears throat> I wonder how far. It, I wonder how far into the rock this lion has walked into in there. We um, may never know. Hmm. Do you think we should, like, leave and, and come back and maybe he'll wander here around? I could do that again. That'd be pretty cool. To have a ghost lion. Um, we have other work to deal with. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Of course. Actually, wait. Uh, Michael, may I make a perception to see if not, this is not, like, a hidden... Area or something? Yeah, make okay. Go for it. Good. I, uh. Skills. Thirty-five. I forgot to say this too, because we were we were kind of ending the game last session. Yeah. Uh, when you guys were in that little layer. And it took you guys like five minutes or more, like more than that, to like, you know, look around, decide what you guys are going to do, heal your guys self up and all that stuff. You notice when you guys found the secret door and you're about to open it and move into the tunnel, right, uh, towards up towards the lair. Uh, you notice that outside, it looked like there was there was clouds forming, like storm, like a storm and the clouds forming in the sky. And you felt like kind of like a gust of wind building up. From, from outside, outside that layer. All right. All right, so uh, section 35, oh yeah. Oh my God, plus 22, G, motherfucking G. You see the world. Uh, let's see. Uh, So that would be, uh, let me check. Uh, all right, so 35, definitely. I mean, you definitely see something. Checking for something else too. Okay, so you just notice, yeah, nothing else. So you notice this on the door, on the it's it's cleverly hidden, but there seems in, integrated into the carvings of, on the wall. And you notice this, this is actually a secret door. So if you push it the right way, you can push the door open. Uh, Where? Right here. Uh, point right here. But, uh, oh. All right. Uh, here's a burden question. Uh, 
I'm, do I clearly need hands to be able to manipulate the hidden door to be able to open it? Yeah, yeah, you need to kind of push it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can push it? Yeah, you have to, like, push it, yeah. Like, it oh, looks so... like a stone wall to you. It looks like a stone wall, but with your perception, with your keen perception, you can tell that there's, like, linings of, like, this actually can be moved. It's actually on the door. Oh, so, uh, all right. If all it needs to do to open, I just needs to be pushed, right? I can just push it in my lion, uh, in my tiger form, and push it open. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. All right. So Miles is gonna move over here, just nudges uh, Mordos to move out the way, and pushes on the door to try to open it. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was thinking about the line. That's a door. Alright. Uh, so, and I also I'll give it to you this, perception-wise, because you made a really high perception of 35. You know uh, this wall is thin, right? I mean, not thin. I mean, it's not that thin. It's actually kind of thick. It's like at least five, maybe at least what, like a three, four, three to four feet, right? Uh -huh. About three feet thick. It's a three, it's a three, three foot uh, thick uh, wall. So you know that if this line moved past it, it moved past this wall. Most likely it's hiding behind here. And you know that its eyes are still open. Just oh, here. okay. Um, but it's so, just most likely waiting because that's what it was told to push okay. backwards. Oh, uh, okay. Is it possible? Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, as I'm pushing it, I close my eyes. So I don't, so I don't see it if we you know. Like one, once when I feel the door, like you know, go and open, I close my eyes, because uh, as a tiger, I do have a. Uh, oh, I have a uh, low light vision and sense or sense. So I don't have blind scent, but like you know, I can still tell you know when where my party members are at. Yeah, I gotcha. You can smell their oh. stench. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll push the door, but once I feel it like open up enough for people to get through, right? I close my eyes so I don't make eye contact with the lion. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, you see him? That's cool. Yeah, so I don't see him. <laughs> that's how the case is. <laughs> yeah, you missed it, uh, Mordos. You know that this creature, that's how he controlled it, he commanded it, because you knew it had a powerful gaze attack. Like, as long as it's, his eyes open, it's his, it's his ability it has, like, its eyes are always open. Oh. Whoever looks at it within 30 feet gets hit by a gaze attack, which he, he opened the door, so can I see it? Huh? Can I see the line now? I mean, are you going to look at it? Because it's going to, you're going to get hit by the gaze attack if you look No, I mean, well, I mean, you have I'm, to I guess your gaze. Try to, if I do notice the outline, I guess I'll avert my gaze, that's for sure. But do I know okay. that it's there? Is that the point? Yeah, yeah, you definitely know. Um, like, Miles tells you all guys that most likely this wall's kind of, like, thin because it's a secret door. And you can tell most likely if the line got moved, moved past this, mostly it's on the other side waiting. Okay. Um, I'm going to give it a command. I'm gonna be like, um, so it's there, huh? It can hear me, I assume. And so I, I'm going to speak, I guess, how do I... Do I have to cast a spell again? Or I can just... Uh, no, 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 no. I can just say... Do a handle animal to be able to get it... Essentially, what do you want it to do? Uh, to communicate what I want it to do. Okay, so it's got to be able to hear me. Then I can... So... Um, I, guess I, if, I guess if I got to handle it, I'll close my eyes. And I'll try to convince the animal to close his eyes. Okay, make a make a pretty good handle on him. So it can try to understand what you're talking about eyes, like closing eyes. Yeah, that's a little bit more. Well, if it, if well, it not thinks I'm complex, friendly, but, yeah. I could like just like rub its eyes, like close. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the ear under the chin. Oh, nuzzle, nuzzle, nuzzle. <laughs> hey, it, twenty-one is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Uh. It's my friend. Yeah. 
I don't think it's concentration. So yeah, you always it's always under your command once you cast a spell, so you never have to worry about it. I mean, it's, so, yeah. does it's not anybody your friend, want to risk? Your slave, to be fair. Does anybody want yeah, to risk? Yeah, basically, yeah, it's practically almost your slave at this point. So yeah, twenty one. Yeah, it understands what you're saying. Like when you look, when you move around, and you kind of like do your hand gestures without trying to look and like try to do the and so forth to try to tell it like close the, close its eyes. It kind of understands what you're saying. At first, it was a little confused, but then like you're. Sh then you kind of close your eyes, and you kind of show your face as you move your hands towards its eyes, or towards uh -oh. your eyes, I mean. And of course, when you're showing it, then it kind of understands and it closes its eyes. So you guys are, are fine. Kind of moves, it actually moves back. It gets an animal. It's not It's not mindless, so it actually understands to move maybe out of the way. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, I want to make a, I want to be able to console it too. Alright. We're gonna have to develop some kind of Cyclops visor for him. Volcani, is there some kind of goggles that you can develop that will prevent any accidents for the next few days? <laughs> Maybe something I could just take off real fast with a leash or. I don't know. One leash to hold him and one leash to rip off his goggles? What? I'm. Crazy ideas. It's a ghost. How do you put goggles on a ghost? Uh, maybe do you kill the goggles first? <laughs> and you only have control of it for like eight days, so. So when you guys enter this room. It's gonna be a glorious uh... eight days. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Mortis, you're going to try to write it and fail. <laughs> so yeah, so when you guys enter this room, and of course there's a ghost sign here, is here with his eyes closed, as it kind of like listens to you, kind of, and just like floating, kind of like in the air. Um, it's just waiting for your command. Uh, let's see, in this room, uh, I need to do a 20 by, I need to do a 20 by 20, I think. Uh, Right, I forgot to put that on. I think it's 20 by 20. Yeah, it's 20 foot radius. Uh, so, like, there's a the, when you enter this room after you push the hidden door, it's 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 a thick cloud when you walk in. You barely can move. Basically, you guys can barely move. Uh, uh, Oh, no, sorry. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you barely can see within here, even with your light. Like, this, there's like a, it's like a cloud in this room where you enter. And you can barely see anything five feet beyond in front of you, even with dark vision or any other sight. You barely can see in here. It's real, 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 like a fog, like a real thick fog in here. Uh, all right. Uh, Michael, what do I smell? What do you smell? Uh, I mean, you smell your friends. Yeah. Uh, you smell, well, you can't really smell the ghost, per se. I mean, you sense its presence, but yeah. like, you don't really smell it, per se. <laughs> um, maybe you smell the ectoplasm, but, uh, but you definitely smell your friend's scent. Uh, make a perception to try to scent any, you know, sense anything else with your Uh, mind. let's see. What's, okay. Uh, yes, so you guys have it. Scent, uh, scents. As a uh, plus four, right to perception with uh, spells, right? No, 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 it just lets you. It's like it lets you pinpoint stuff. Like it knows where. Oh, okay. It's easy to uh, screen direct. Okay. With the the sense. All right then. Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't change your perception. Uh, thirty. Oh yeah, definitely you smell some stuff. In, well, you don't smell stuff in this room, but you smell uh -huh. stuff close by, like in other. It seems like other rooms. Or like other area right. close by. Um, let's see. Stairs go up or they go down? They go up. They go up. Yeah, you see a stair, right? So let me describe it to you guys. Full description. Even though, well, you guys can't really see it because it's a thick fog. So you barely can see five feet in front of you. So you don't even see the stair yet, <laughs> unfortunately. Um,
So let me see. Uh, let me draw this out real quick. Uh, is, can we do spellcraft or something? Is this fog magical? Yeah, you can do spellcraft. Go for it. Crap rolls out of ten. <laughs> Get on my level. Can you move your your tokens real quick, Amal? Like, as I see this the line, and uh, make sure I'm on the same line. Can you move your token real quick? Yeah, the, the other one too. You control the other one too. So move the lion, or the tiger, I mean. Yeah, perfect. There, there. Okay, so now all of you got hit by it. Uh, or I have to need to draw it out and make sure it comes in right. Um, I'm just drawing it real quick. Uh, can you move it again? <laughs> Sorry. Can you move it? Down? You can move it back into its place where it was. Yeah, perfect. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, it kind of fits practically almost the whole. So, Vukani, you get into the thick. I mean, you don't have to, obviously. All of you guys don't have to. I assume you guys don't go into the fog, but you see the thick fog. Uh, you barely see the lion. He's in the fog, just floating. But, yeah. But that's what you guys see. A okay. big, thick fog in front of you. Mm. Yeah, Maz, you're kind of in it. Your body's kind of because you're so large. But, I mean, you're also kind of out of it as well. Yeah. yeah. So with the spellcraft, uh, fifteen doesn't make it. Oh. Yeah, that's the second level. So yeah, Miles and Vulcani, you guys know what it is. And you guys kind of recognize this. You think it's a fog cloud. Oh. All right. Hmm. All right, then. I have to spell magic. Uh, and I think Mordos does, too. Yeah, I got it as a backup to you. I mean... This... Um, I mean, mm, it would be useful to dispel it, but, uh, forgot what the penalties are, uh, with fog. I think it makes it harder. It's real thick. You can only, you can only see in front of you five feet. All right, so it like, so forget even shooting into this thing; you're just gonna miss. Yeah, well, not miss. You just are basically almost blinded. You don't know okay. where. You can't shoot super far away. In other All way. right. Your range is just five feet away. I shoot the guy five feet, five feet in front of me, basically. All right. Um. <laughs> uh... So I wasn't able to pick up anything in this room, right? That wasn't like 
us essentially. Uh, be, yeah, yeah. But, in uh, this room, you sense nothing. Wait, close by, like nearby, uh, or actually, let me check if you would know. So, with the scent. Um, hold on, give me one second. That's nothing. Yeah, I've been. I found out about the third-party list of spells, the comprehensive one, last session, and uh, I'm kind of just going through here right now because we kind of leveled up pretty fast. I'm hoping I could maybe switch out a few spells because we leveled up. Yeah, you level at level eight. Yeah. You learn one, and you can swap one every time you level. Uh, only swap one, huh? Yeah, I think he's for Bodge. It's like three. Uh, it's like three, seven, something like that. It's every like three levels or something like that. Uh, or maybe it's odd. Uh, or maybe it's even like sorcerer. I'm not sure. You have to check the the description. Um... Okay, sorry, I got distracted. Yeah, you yeah. learn one third level spell, and you can swap out any other one. All right, so we're at. It has to be level to level. So, like, if you ditch a level 2 spell, right. it has to be for another level 2 spell learned. Right. Well, I'm going to have to select carefully, then. There are some pretty good level 1 and level 2 spells. Featherfall would be cool. Anyway, I don't think we need to bother dispelling this. Yeah, so so what you see, uh, and you would tell, um, you say, uh, uh, Miles, from the 30 uh, perception, yeah, you don't notice anything in here for sure, in this mm -hmm. room. But you know, it's like, uh, like north of you, uh, you definitely sense, like, like you sense a smell that you, you scented before. Uh, it seems like some type of humanoid. Um, and you would know it'd be, uh, some type of goblin. Um, because Miles can't speak right now because in tiger form. Yeah, uh, gonna, yeah. yeah, uh, Miles is instantly, uh, well, what, what is it? Uh, does what tigers will usually do when they start stalking prey and, uh, does a low, uh, Tiger growl. All right, Mordos takes cover, and uh, I guess so. So I smell it like about over here, right? Oh, up over there. Yeah, you feel like the northern area. So it's hmm. Okay. Uh. You do see a door here. You see a door here. Oh, a door here? You uh, see a door right here, yeah. Like where Vakani is, there's a door right oh, there in front of you guys. So it, it's it is, covered by the fog. All right, so it, it so it's like coming from like this over here? Yeah, that you, you, yeah, that you know of. All right. That would smell. That's what you smell. All right. My, uh, Miles turns in that direction and still doing what he's doing, the uh, little tiger growl in that direction. Okay. Got a, and this is like an actual door door, right? Yeah, it's a fucking stone door. Yeah. All right. These are stone doors. Uh, I can't open that shit in night tiger form. Yeah. 
I mean, they're not super thick, obviously. Yeah. But you know, thick enough to be just a door, thin enough to be a, a stone door. Miles starts uh, pointing furiously with his tiger paw at that door. Well, that looks rather heavy. Uh, could Check it for traps? Yes, I was about to say the same thing. Is that one of my skills? <laughs> Is that perception? Everybody can check for traps, but only rogues or anybody that has trap finding can get uh, check for magical traps. Uh, so while you guys do that, uh, make a perception. Everybody make a perception. All right. Actually, who's the only per who's the person with trap finding here? Nobody. Uh, nobody. Trap finding. Yeah, nobody that has trap finding ability. Like you all can find physical traps. I hate a party composition so much. <laughs> it's hilarious. Nobody had the, the ability to check for magic. We had mystery. someone. We oh, had did, someone. The slayer, the slayer fighter person had magic. You know what? It doesn't matter. We always pull through. Uh, let's see. So 15. So we don't need no stinking rogue. Uh, you can you can roll if you want to. Like everybody, everybody can roll. Everybody hears this. Pretty sure I rolled. I gotta check the chat. I got a 15, so I definitely don't know this, but. So. We kind of got a 20. So all of you guys here definitely, even with Mordo's 15, you definitely hear it. Well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you hear, like, from the distance, like, it seems like we're in that direction where uh, the tiger's growling, Miles is growling towards. You hear some, like, like some, somebody's, like, almost casting spells, saying something, some type of incantation. It's like, bash, get out. And he's, like, saying something, as you hear from, like, the room, it looks like. I speak goblin now, by the way. Oh, oh yeah. You can, you can tell that the, the person they're talking, they're in goblin. Yeah, they're talking in goblin. Which and it's like they're saying like a prayer to Tima, it seems like, but they're casting a spell. You guys could ca you can do spellcraft if you want to know. Alright, spellcraft. Okay, so 13 does now, the 20 does. <laughs> they're casting they're casting bless. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're casting bless. Oh boy. Hang on one second, I'm gonna get a drink. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm drinking some wine right now. Fancy. <laughs> well, we were we were trying out wines for the wedding. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, oh for your wedding? Yeah, in about a month and a half. Oh, congratulations. Oh, damn, I'm waiting party, dude. Congrats. Hey, I'll, bring, I'll bring the whiskey. We'll dance uh, the night away. I don't know, I think my <laughs> brothers are planning a, a, a party. Nice, awesome. But, uh, That's awesome, man. Well, happy. Uh, well, I mean, congratulations to you and your wife, or to your thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking through here. I'm just thinking about switching out a level two spell, but there's so many. Yeah, there's spells. a lot of good ones. Yeah, you should definitely swap out the summon monster since you use it here and there, but. It loses power the higher level you are, unless you get higher, more powerful summer monsters, because you'll keep yeah. some of the small, like, low-level monsters. Yeah, I was thinking you about getting summer around. monster 3 whenever I get uh, the next level, but even then, I would summon, like, a pack of hyenas. Yeah, but it'll take you a while, too. because it takes a long action to do it. That's the only problem. You have to do it, like, ahead of time before combat starts. Oh, yeah. That's, well, that's what I was saying. Like, long, yeah, you definitely really. swap summon monster 2 for another, like, buff spell, which is really good, because... Are really good stuff. Silence or, uh, is an option. Silence, yeah. Yeah, that one's good too. Ancestral communion. That would be cool. Invisibility is pretty good too. If you don't have invisibility, that's an awesome spot. What? So that you can be kind of like a wizard. <laughs> what well, was that you said? And visibility is really good. Oh, get invisibility. and visibility, okay. Alright, I'm sure. back. I could get scare. <laughs> Alright, so what do you guys want to... 
So yeah, what do you guys want to do since you you heard that? More of those could learn to rage. <laughs> oh yeah, rage stuff. That's okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to try something. I want to speak in goblin. Gotcha. You should. You can surrender now, and quarter will be given. You can leave freely. Oh, if I notice him, like, talking, because I have a spell that can assist that. Don't waste your spells! Oh, maybe it was a performance or something like that. Uh, inspire competence. A performance. Okay, so, with your diplomacy and your, you know, trying to convince him to give quarter, uh, let's see. That what we will we give quarter. Yeah, you will get a quarter. Um, let's see. The thing okay, of what's well, going on, what's then. happened. Uh, Alright, I'm going to do my roll. Oh shit, hold person. Oh fuck yeah. Be a super badass. And heightened reflexes. Okay, um, so what's gonna happen is death. Alrighty. So, when you say that, you hear something like a voice uh, saying something as well, uh, and uh, it, it's like uh, you hear some commotion a little bit. They 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 stand their ground, and then they you hear the voice between them. And uh, I guess yeah, because you know Goblin, uh, mm -hmm. they say stand, fight. Or, or, or we will die, no matter what. And then, the, and of course, more like fear. And then the clerics have set themselves, or you hear most like some type of priest or something like for Tiamat. And then, of course, the door opens, or the door kind of opens in front of you as you see guys like this. I mean, move the thing. Would you mind if I um, went ahead and switched out a spell, considering yeah, I, you're supposed I didn't to. really have Yeah, when you hit level 8, yeah. So what spells gonna... did you pick up at level 8? Oh, I picked up a th uh, two new third level spells. So, you see three guys, like or one guy, because it's only one, it's a five foot door. You see one guy in front of you, he's all like, just like, muscular and stuff, and he's a hot goblin. And they're just like, in combat form, like, they're like, stanced and ready to fight as they come at you. And everybody start uh, initiative. Alright. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, Shitty sweet. ass initiative. And I told the tiger to close its eyes. It's the lion. Oh, lion. Damn. Mm-hmm. 
ready. Froze my roll 20. Oh shit. Go down. What's going on? I somehow managed to beat the bad guys this time as well. That's good. Nice. Okay, so we're at the top of the turn. Let's let's take a five minute break. I actually really need to rest from so let's take a five minute break and then we'll start the combo. All right. Cool. All right. All right, thanks. All right. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna go check the kids.